hello guys i just stumbled upon this very little nifty tool called as gguf gui what this tool does is very simple it creates a safe tensor to gguf format if you don't know what tensor safe tensor and gguf is i have done another video where i go into way more detail but just for the benefit of this video let me try to explain it in as simple words as possible so when you say tensor, a tensor is a mathematical representation of your text data. For example, if you look at this diagram, here I have a sentence, I am here. I am just representing I as this numerical representation, M is in the second line, and then here is in the third line. When we combine them together, stack them in the two dimensional in rows and columns, this whole thing becomes a tensor. And here we have this tensor of of shape 3 comma 3 the first dimension repre represents the number of tokens which means i am and here and the second dimension represents the embedding vector size because we have just three elements in this whole example so the shape of this tensor is 3 comma 3 and safe tensor uh, means that to load and store this tensor in a secure and efficient way so along with this whole tensor mathematical representation it also adds some metadata like checksum, encryption, serialization, and versioning. So please search my channel for uh, the definition of tensor and safe tensor, and you should be able to um, get more idea around it. So this tool, gg, um, gguf underscore gui, converts a safe tensor into gguf format. gguf is a file format for storing models for inference with ggml and executors based on ggml. And this is a binary format, the GGUF, that is designed for fast loading and saving of models and for ease of reading. And because models are normally developed using PyTorch or any other framework, like, you know, there are various other TensorFlow and uh, there are a few others too, which creates the safe tensors these days. And you just be there, but quite big in size. If you want to reduce the size, you convert them to GGUF. Uh, and that is what we, this utility does in a very, very easy way locally. And it runs um, in a streamlet to provide us a graphical user interface. So let me try to get it installed. The VM and the GPU card, which I'm going to use has been graciously sponsored by our friends at Mast Compute. So if you're looking to rent a GPU of a very high quality on discounted prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description plus a discount coupon which will give you 50% of discount so really it's sublime uh, offer from them so if you are interested please follow that link and the uh, coupon and you should be able to get the uh, gpu cards rent them at a very very lucrative rates okay so let's go to our local system where i'm running this ubuntu 22.04 again thanks to mast compute for this and the GPU card which they are sponsoring is this one, NVIDIA RTX A6000, which has 48 GB of VRAM. Hopefully, this should be enough for my purpose. So let's see. Let's clear the screen. First up, let's um, create a Conda environment. If you don't have Conda installed, I would highly suggest you install it. It will keep everything separate from your local installation. As you can see, that I already have this Conda 24.1.2 installed. So let me install the Conda environment so i'm simply creating this conda environment called as gguf gui let's press enter and it is going to create that environment just press y and should be done fairly soon let's activate that environment so that we will be stepping into this workspace that is done you can see in the parentheses let's clear it and now let's git clone that repo which i just showed you and i will drop the link in video's description very uh, sweet little tool so let's go into it let's clear the screen so if you look at the content of this tool this already has got the main.py and the setup which is in the run.sh so let me run that with my shell sorry not this one i will be just running it with bash bash run.sh so all i'm doing it i'm just running it through the shell here so let me quickly run it then it is going to download whatever is needed and then install it 
so let's wait for it to finish i believe it is going to install a fair bit of stuff so let's wait for it to finish all the prerequisites are done and i was thinking i needed to install run it but it has automatically run it as part of that run.sh script now you can either um, access it in your browser by using localhost on this port or you can even go to this public url in order to access it so let me try to access it in my browser and this is what it looks like in the browser so you see the step one is to select the repo or the directory path so what you can do you can either download the tensor file on your local system or you could go to the hugging phase such as this and you select any model maybe i'll just select this model go back here and then i'll just uh, put this microsoft 53 mini 4k instruct it's not that big still good enough but let's see how it goes then you can enable verbose logging i'm just keeping everything by default so you can go with f32 you can go with floating point 16 q8 or this maybe i'll go with quant 8 and then i will just and you can then run the conversion here and then you can in the step two you can uh, quantize it so i'm just so let's maybe i'll just run the conversion first and then i'll go from there so click on run conversion it is converting the safe tensor to q8 and this is a so this will be the next just want to see what is happening at the terminal so let's go back to terminal you see it is downloading the tensors of the model first tokenizer is already downloaded so there are two tensors safe tensors of this model so you already know what safe tensor is so let's wait for it to download both the tensors the size is just close close to 10 gig so make sure you have that much space plus some more on your local system it has downloaded the model and now you see it is converting it seems quite big to me and it is quite surprising that it has already determined the size to be this 4.06 interesting very very interesting and if i go back to the browser you will see it has put it in that it has um, saved the model here in the snapshot this is the original model the first green and then now <clears throat> the quant 8 is being written in this gtuf format to this location how good is that so let's wait for it to finish it'll take too long now the eta is just seven six five seconds I will let it run so that you would see what is happening there you go so it has successfully exported the model here on our local system in the ggf format from it so if i go back to the browser it is going to show us something okay so it is showing this i'm not sure what this error means but i think it's already did the conversion so i am happy with that now you can also do this step where you can quantize it into uh, like this file so i'm just going to maybe you can go with this or you can downgrade the quant maybe i will just go with my favorite one which is q5km and then you can click on quantize there you go so quick so so quick amazing stuff and amazing stuff so but i don't think so you can quantize from q8 to this you would have to go to fp16 uh, what i mean is first you would go maybe this or this and then when it is converted and then you will go and quantize it so this is a proper way but anyway doesn't matter we now know the process so amazing tool really impressed by it so you see how easy it is to just pick out the model from hugging face give it repo just take your output format there are a lot of them and then quantize them how good is that so that's it guys really heads off to the creator what's his name there's no name here maybe a kev kid so amazing stuff let me know what do you think if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching